If you're a contact lens wearer, then you may have come across the term toric lenses, and it can confuse the heck out of you, especially for you online contact lens buyers out there. But no one really tells you what this word means, and I feel like a lot of patients get confused when it comes to knowing whether their lenses are spherical or toric. So here we go. Whenever I see a contact lens wearer in the clinic, I'm really curious as to what lens they're using because I want to be able to provide the best for their needs. However, whenever I ask whether or not their lenses are spherical or toric, I get a very blank face that says to me, Dude, I have no idea what you're talking about. So this boy got your back. Today, we'll be going through what toric lenses are and how it differs from spherical lenses so that the next time you get asked that question, you can answer with confidence. And also, if you are looking for your lenses online, then you'll be able to know exactly whether or not your lenses are spherical or toric. I remember first learning about torics back in high school mathematics when I learned about conics. We can take a 3D model of a cone, cut it into multiple slices and get different shapes, such as a sphere, an ellipse, a parabola, and even a hyperbola. Hence the name conics. Well, we can apply this exact same concept, but with a torus, and create a family of torics. Toruses are these ring-looking shapes. The closest analogy I can provide for you is, in this case, a Krispy Kreme original glazed, mm. and you cut a section through it. Now you have a toric shape. This is the exact same shape that toric contact lenses are made up of, although not as extreme. They are designed so that the poloidal direction has a different curvature to the toroidal direction. But Antonio, I get it. Every lens is made different. But what does it mean for me? What do I need? Do I need toric lenses or not? Toric lenses are designed exclusively to correct for astigmatism. And if you don't know what astigmatism is, I made a video on it, so feel free to watch that in your own time. As I mentioned in that astigmatism video, our corneas or corneae can be shaped differently. This could be due to genetics, but it can also get worse if you mechanically rub your eyes too much. The irregularity in the shape of the cornea is what we call astigmatism, and it's this that causes multiple focal points on the retina, leading to smudged vision. So, in the case of toric lenses and astigmatism, we need both the poloidal direction and the toroidal direction to be different curvatures so that we can correct them differently. So in other words, if you do not have astigmatism, then you do not need toric lenses. If you're completely clueless as to what I'm talking about, then let me go through a few frequently asked questions that I get asked all the time. How do I know if my lenses are spherical or toric? This one's pretty easy. If you have your contact lens package with you, then have a look at the numbers. Every pack should have the prescription written on them. Of that prescription, they will have the spherical power, but if your prescription also has a cylindrical power, then you know for a fact that this is a toric lens. If I know for a fact that I have astigmatism, then does that mean I need toric lenses? Toric lens powers start at a cylindrical power of at least 0.75 diopters, which means that for people with very mild astigmatism below this threshold, you will not need toric lenses. Are toric lenses better than spherical lenses? In most cases, the material between toric and spherical lenses will be exactly the same. However, in some cases, you might find that the diameter is actually wider in toric lenses to account for the curvature. For example, the Cooper Vision My Day in both sphere and toric lenses are made up of the exact same material. However, if you take a closer look at the numbers of the toric lenses, you'll find that the diameter is just a tad bit bigger. Not that it makes any significant difference. What happens if I buy spherical lenses when my prescription states that I should get toric ones? Well, firstly, it means you got the wrong prescription because you will not be correcting the astigmatic portion of your prescription, which means that your vision will be, I guess, decent, but it won't be crystal sharp. If my toric lenses are so specific in the way that they correct vision, then is there a special way that I should be inserting my contact lenses? Luckily not. Lens manufacturers will conveniently design it so that no matter how you put the lenses into your eye, they will stabilize onto your eyes in the correct orientation so you do not need to worry about how to put them in. Lens manufacturers will either make the bottom heavier 
so that every time you blink, the heaviest part always sinks to the bottom. Or make the top and bottom thinner so that your eyelids hold it in place. This is why your contact lenses might just take a few minutes before your vision starts to clear up immediately after putting them in. What should I do if my toric lenses give me blurry vision? Well, my suggestion is to see your optometrist. They will be able to see how the lens is sitting on your eye using a microscope so that further refinements if needed can be made. I myself am a toric lens wearer because I have astigmatism. And for those that share the same trouble, I, I feel you. Not only do you have little options when it comes to toric lenses, they usually cost a little bit more than their spherical counterparts. I'm hoping that more brands come out with toric lens options so that astigmats, like myself, have more options to work with. But let me know what you think. Have you worn toric lenses before and how was your experience in them? Hopefully this video cleared up some uncertainty when it comes to toric lenses, but if I missed anything, then feel free to let me know and I'll try and answer them. However, I hope you learned something new or at least found something useful. If you did, then yay, thumbs up to you. If you want to thumbs up back, then that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.